Welcome back again. For this video, we're going to look at an example problem with an inclined plane. So we're going to look at how to solve these problems. And the first step in a problem involving an inclined plane is to draw a picture. Um, I could write down what I know, but I think drawing a picture is just as good, if not better. So here's my plane. And I have my box on it. And the box has a mass of 10 kilograms. Uh, my angle is 45 degrees. And the box is going to slide down the plane. And I do know there is friction. And the coefficient of friction is 0 0.3. And I'm trying to find the acceleration of the box. OK. So right away, if I see I'm trying to find the acceleration of the box, I know I'm going to use this equation. I know I'm solving for A. I have the mass already. That is 10. But I need to add forces. And I have two forces going in, this, in the direction of the acceleration. I have this force, that is the force of gravity pulling at an angle. So remember the force of gravity is actually pulling straight down. But I want to know not that part of gravity, I want to know the part of gravity that's pulling down here. I want to know that part of gravity. Um, and then, um, or how that part of gravity is affecting the box. All right, and then I also have uh, friction. So I need to find those two. I need to find this friction, and I need to find uh, the force of gravity pulling in that direction. So I need to basically find the parallel forces. So I'm going to bring out my two functions. Um, the force perpendicular is mag cosine theta and force parallel equals m a g sine theta. So you should have those memorized or be able to derive them. I have a separate video on that if you'd like to watch it. Um, okay, so uh, let's, let's do both of these. We're going to need both anyway, uh, so let's do both. So the first one, force perpendicular, would be equal to, I'm going to just plug numbers straight in. 10, that's the mass. 9.81, that's the acceleration of gravity, cosine of 45. All right, so we're going to plug that in. Uh, we're going to make sure our calculator is in degrees, not radians. Cosine 45. We get 69.37 newtons. Force perpendicular is 69.37 newtons. So that would be this piece right here, perpendicular. So this force is 69.37. Okay, I'm going to find the parallel force now. The parallel force would be equal to 10 times 9.81 sine theta. So I put that in the calculator and because it's a 45 45 triangle I get the same value. So I know the force in this direction parallel is 69.37. Okay so if I come back up here I'm going to add my forces. I just found one of my forces. I'm going to put negative 69.37 because it's going to the left. I'm going to add the friction because the friction is going to the right. But I need to find the friction. So I need one more equation. My frictional force is going to be equal to the normal times the coefficient of friction. So the frictional force is the normal and the normal is equal to this guy. So this number is going to go right in there. 
because that's what the normal is. The normal is perpendicular. So I'm going to multiply that times 0.3. So we have 69.37 times 0.3. We get 20.81. So that's the friction force, that's the force here. So I'm gonna add the two forces. So I have negative 6937, that's going left over here. And I have positive 20 going this direction. So I'm gonna add those two forces. So I have 69.37, 20.81. We get negative 48.56 equals 10a. We can divide both sides by 10. And we get a equals negative 4.86 meters per second squared. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to be really neat about this. Um, there's two things. So we have different parts, right? We had the parallel part, the perpendicular part, the friction part. We had the F equals MA part. So make sure you're organized. Make sure you're putting the right numbers in the right spot. Draw your picture, label it as you're solving, um, just so you can make sure you're keeping things straight. Make sure you reread the question. Our question is what is the acceleration? And that's what I answered. So there's a lot of steps. Make sure you're following them all. Make sure you're putting the right things in the right spot and you guys can do it. Awesome. Thank you very much. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know.